Have you ever questioned the world around you? Ever wondered if what you know is the truth or a well-orchestrated lie? Welcome, fellow seekers of truth. In our shared quest for knowledge and understanding, we often stumble upon dark corners of the world where shadows of uncertainty loom large. These shadows are woven into the fabric of our society, lurking beneath the surface of accepted truth. They are what we call conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories, my friends, are not merely the stuff of science fiction or the wild imaginings of the paranoid. They are, in fact, a fundamental aspect of human curiosity. They testify to our innate desire to question, to probe and to challenge the status quo. They are the whispers of dissent against the deafening roar of the mainstream narrative. From the cryptic symbols on a dollar bill to the enigmatic happenings at a remote desert facility, conspiracy theories offer a tantalizing glimpse into an alternative world. A world where the puppeteers of power operate from shadowy corners, where the ordinary is extraordinary and where nothing is as it seems. These theories, however, are not for the faint-hearted. They demand a certain courage. The courage to question, to doubt, and ultimately to accept the possibility of a reality far removed from the one we know. They beckon us to embark on a journey, a journey that promises to be as thrilling as it is terrifying. So are you ready to challenge what you know? Are you prepared to confront the uncomfortable? Do you have the courage to venture into the unknown? If so, then hold your breath, steel your nerves, and open your mind. For today, we peel back the veil of secrecy and delve into the top five conspiracy theories circulating the internet. We begin our journey not on solid ground, but in the vast expanse of space. A journey that will question one of humanity's greatest achievements. But that, my friends, is a tale for the next scene. In fifth place, we have the classic The Moon Landing Hoax. Picture this. The year is 1969, and the world is glued to their television sets, watching in awe as Neil Armstrong takes his historic first steps on the lunar surface. But could this have been an elaborate ruse, a grand deception staged by the United States government? This theory, as outlandish as it may sound to some, has been a subject of intrigue for many. The skeptics, or moon landing deniers, as they are sometimes referred to, present a series of arguments that they believe expose this event as nothing more than an intricately fabricated hoax. The first point of contention is the American flag that was planted on the moon's surface. The footage shows the flag fluttering as if caught in a breeze, a phenomenon that should be impossible in the moon's airless environment. Could this be evidence of a studio set on Earth complete with wind machines? Next, we have the issue of multiple light sources. The sun should have been the only source of illumination on the moon. Yet in the images captured during the Apollo missions, shadows appear to fall in different directions, suggesting the presence of additional light sources. Is this a telltale sign of studio lighting? Finally, there's the conspicuous absence of stars in the lunar photographs. The moon's sky is devoid of atmosphere, so the stars should have been clearly visible, yet they are nowhere to be found in the photos. Were the stars simply too difficult to fake, or is there another explanation? These are just a few of the many questions raised by those who believe the moon landing was a hoax. While these theories have been largely debunked by experts, they continue to capture the imagination of conspiracy enthusiasts around the world. So, was the moon landing a monumental achievement or an elaborate hoax? The debate continues. Coming in at number four, we have the New World Order theory. Picture a clandestine group of international elites hailing from the highest echelons of power. These shadowy figures are said to manipulate the world's governments, control industry, and shape society according to their whims. This is not the plot of a Hollywood blockbuster, but the basis of the New World Order conspiracy theory. Believers of this theory argue that there exists a secret society, a global oligarchy, if you will, that dictates the trajectory of the world. From economic policies to wars, from cultural trends to technological innovation, every significant event is a calculated move in their grand chess game. But where did this theory originate? 
The roots can be traced back to the post-World War I era, when the term New World Order was used to describe the change in the geopolitical landscape. Over the years, however, it has taken on a more sinister connotation, fueled by fears of globalism and the loss of national sovereignty. This theory has permeated popular culture and is often referenced in books, films and music. It's the lifeblood of countless online forums, where believers dissect world events, searching for the invisible hand of the New World Order. Is there any truth to this theory? Critics argue it is a product of paranoia, a fear of the unknown, and a need to make sense of a complex world. They point to the lack of concrete evidence and the implausibility of such a vast global conspiracy being kept under wraps. But believers counter that the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. They point to secretive meetings like the Bilderberg Conference and the influence of international bodies like the United Nations as proof of a global power structure. So where does that leave us? Is the New World Order merely a figment of our collective imagination, a tale spun by those who see shadows where there are none? Or is there a kernel of truth, a hint of a web of control woven by unseen hands? Is it paranoia? Or are there puppet masters pulling the strings of society? That's for you to decide. At number three, we delve into the world of entertainment with the Illuminati and the music industry theory. Yes, you heard it right. The world of glitz and glamour, where music is supposedly the universal language of freedom, is said to be under the control of a clandestine group known as the Illuminati. This secret society, shrouded in mystery, has been the subject of numerous conspiracy theories throughout history and is believed by some to have a sinister influence on the global music industry. This theory is not just about control, but also about manipulation. It postulates that the Illuminati uses music as a tool to manipulate the masses, implanting subliminal messages and symbols into music videos and performances. These symbols, often hidden in plain sight, are said to be a way for the Illuminati to communicate their agenda and influence our thoughts and actions. From bizarre hand gestures to peculiar stage setups, theorists point to various elements in music videos and live performances as evidence of this hidden influence. For instance, the all-seeing eye, a symbol often associated with the Illuminati, has been spotted in numerous music videos, leading theorists to speculate on the possible connections. Moreover, some theorists suggest that many musicians have sold their souls to this secret society in exchange for fame and fortune. They point to lyrics that hint at such deals and to sudden meteoric rises to stardom as evidence. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? That our favourite artists might be puppets, their strings pulled by unseen hands. But as with all conspiracy theories, this one too has its sceptics. Critics argue that these supposed symbols and messages are mere coincidences, cherry-picked and blown out of proportion by conspiracy enthusiasts. They believe that the music industry, like any other, is driven by talent and hard work, not by a shadowy organisation pulling the strings. Are musicians merely pawns in a larger game? Or are these coincidences simply misinterpreted? The jury is still out. So, whether you're a believer or a sceptic, the intrigue surrounding the Illuminati and its supposed influence on the music industry continues to captivate and puzzle us. In our penultimate spot, we have Area 51 and aliens. Now, this is a theory that's been around for decades, with believers asserting that the US government is concealing evidence of extraterrestrial life within the confines of Area 51. Nestled in the heart of the Nevada desert, this top-secret military base is steeped in mystery, its true purpose known only to a select few. In 2019, the internet was abuzz with plans to storm Area 51, an event that was intended to unveil the truth. More than two million people pledged their participation, sparking a government response that was as swift as it was stern. The event eventually fizzled out but it served to underscore the world's enduring fascination and suspicion about what truly lies within Area 51. Are we alone in the universe, or are the answers being hidden in the Nevada desert? We may never know. And finally, the most controversial theory of all, 9-11 was an inside job. This theory posits that the US government either had foreknowledge of, or was directly involved in, the tragic events of September 11th. 
There are a few key arguments that skeptics often point to when discussing this theory. First, there's the collapse of World Trade Center 7, a building that wasn't directly hit by an airplane, yet fell in a manner that some say resembles a controlled demolition. Then there's the Pentagon's missing CCTV footage from the day of the attacks. Many question why, with one of the most surveilled buildings in the world, there's no clear footage of the plane crash. These points, among others, fuel the belief that the official narrative might not be the whole truth. A tragedy with many questions left unanswered, but is it a case of conspiracy or just a series of unfortunate coincidences? The truth, as always, is in the eye of the beholder.